Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday. More importantly, welcome to November 10th. I don't always know the day, but today I know that it's November 10th. And the reason I know is because it's an important day to millions of gamers across the world. Uh, and also for me, it's a very important day for me because today Fallout 4 is out. It's finally out. I've been waiting on this for a long, long time and the day has finally come. It hits store shelves and it's available, which is awesome. Now, uh, I am doing a Let's Play of this. As, as many of you know. Probably know because by the time you get this vlog, it's, I've been doing it for a while. Um, it's a day two Let's Play. It's another day one Let's Play because uh, I did a day one Let's Play of Skyrim. It was fine. Uh, but in order to do a day one Let's Play of Skyrim, you have to... Uh, first off, you have to stay up until midnight. Um, and then if you're if you're going to go out and get the game, that's a whole other ball game, which is another headache that you have to actually go drive somewhere and get the game. But even if you're preloading and, and playing the game at midnight... Um, a lot of times you have additional stuff to install uh, at midnight, then you have to get the game set up so it's ready to record because you may have to adjust some settings. Then you actually record the thing, uh, and then you have to edit and you have to do all the stuff, and you start at midnight and it's really, really late. So I wanted to get uh, my my copy in the daytime and do it in the day where I didn't you know, have to stay up all night and, and produce something that was kind of crappy. So not that I feel like Skyrim Episode 1 is crappy, but I feel like... Uh, for Fallout 4, I would prefer to have a full night rest. So that's why I decided to elect to do it on uh, on day two. It's there's a lot of weird emotions um, jumping into this project because I'm really excited about it, and I definitely know I can do it because I hundred percent at Skyrim. Uh, there's not very many people that can say they did that, and especially on YouTube, there's even fewer people that can say that they did that and you know uploaded the thing to YouTube. But I'm one of them, and it's it's cool because on one sense. Um, you know, I, I feel very accomplished, um, and also I, I think that gives me some merit, so people who want to actually see the game played to completion know that they're going to get it. It's not going to be like, oh, this is popular for three months, now it's not popular, I'm not going to upload it anymore. People know that they can trust me to actually play through the entire game, because I did it once already. Um, so that's one side of it. The other side of it is that this is really weird for me, because this has never happened before. And what I mean by that is, when I started Skyrim, I had no idea that I would be playing it for two and a half years. There was no way to, to know that. I, I I didn't know how long the game was. I knew it was long, but I didn't know if I would be doing 100%. I didn't really know what the plan was. I was just going to play the game. And now that I've done 100% Skyrim, and that's, that's what people expect of me, and that's what I honestly like to do, that means that going into Fallout 4, I know that I'm going to probably attempt to 100% it. And that I'm probably going to be playing this game for three years. And I've never went into a project knowing I'm going to play a game for three years. Because I certainly didn't believe that was, that was going to happen for Skyrim. I thought maybe a year, maybe even a little less. But certainly not two and a half. And there's a good chance I'll be playing Fallout 3, or Fallout 4 for the next three years. And like that's it's a really weird feeling. There's a lot of emotions with it. Um, it also means that I wanted to make sure I got my character right, and I've been spending a lot of time figuring out what what initial build that I wanted for my character. I've been figuring, I've been spending a lot of time on the name, asking other people their opinions on what what I've come up with, what Mal's come up with, their opinions on if they have any ideas, and and getting a lot of input for for this person because I'm gonna have to. I mean, I'm spending three years with this person. It's weird. It's like an extension of myself in a way, similar to how Argyle was an extension of myself. So it's um it's just weird. It's it's a it's a it's a different feeling, and it's one that I didn't have with Skyrim because when I went into Skyrim, I didn't know what to expect. Now I know what to expect, and people know what to expect too. So the audience is like, you know, Steven's going to get started on Fallout, and he's probably going to play it for three years, and he's going to hundred percent it. And you know what? They're probably right, um, but it does it does feel odd. But it's also going to be kind of nice to have a long term project back on the channel. It's something I've always I I always missed since Skyrim ended, and. Uh, I haven't felt like lost without it, but it's going to be nice that it's that it's back. So Fallout 4 is out today. I'm very excited to play it. And I'm over at my parents' house because this is where I went to pick it up. But as soon as I get home, I'm going to throw it in. I'm going to get started. I already know, you know, kind of what I'm going to do. Um, I haven't been looking up spoilers of the game, but I, I've learned the mechanics of the game because I think that's important. Um, what stats could be helpful and things like that. And... We're going to get started. I've been waiting a long time for this game. A lot of people don't know, but uh, I 100 percented Fallout 3. I know a lot of people didn't know that, but um, it was before Steven Plays ever existed. I 100 percented Fallout 3 and all of the DLC. 
And uh, it was just a game I really, really enjoyed. And I'm excited to jump into the world of Fallout 4. Anyway, if you got the game and you're enjoying it, let me know. And my LP has probably been going on for a bit at this point, so let me know what you think of that. Thanks for watching, and uh, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? This is going to be fun. And here is a standard DVD case for the Wii. So that will give you an idea of how big it is. Once again, pretty thick. Um, my parents have the Gen 3 one, and it's like half as thick as this. Scoop Mob is a 1-1 insect at the beginning of your upkeep. If you control five or more lands, you put a... Uh, basically, Scoop Mob becomes a 5-5. Five five. So you can't let it live too long, is basically what that means. If you let it live too long, it gets huge, and that's a problem.